Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you how you can actually create the template messages and also how you can send these template messages to your customers. Before we get into the details, another overview about the template messages. So template messages is basically business initiated conversations. It has different applications in terms of marketing and also customer support. So as you know, you have 24 hours to actually respond to a user initiated conversation. If you are not able to respond to a customer within that 24 hours, you can use these template messages to actually reinitiate a conversation with the customer. You can also use these template messages to broadcast a specific message to a number of contents. So these are the basic applications of the template messages. Now, how can you actually create these template messages on MyAlice? So to do that, first of all, you have to log into your dashboard on MyAlice. And once you're here, you need to go to the integration part of MyAlice. Here, you'll see all the channels that you have connected previously. You need to find your WhatsApp channel and you need to go to the options. Here, you'll see an option called Manage Templates. Click on it and it will show you all the different templates that you've created previously. So if you're doing this for the first time, this will be blank for you. So you click on Create New Message Template. Here, you will be asked to provide a few details of your template. So as I mentioned previously, Template messages can have different applications. So if you're doing this to broadcast a message to your customers, uh, it will have a format of its own. Or if you want to use this template message to reinitiate a conversation beyond 24 hours, you can also use these template messages. So I'll take the latter example and I'll create a template message that is actually uh, designed to initiate the conversation with the customer again. So you have to give a template name. So I'd like to say this like start conversation. Uh, the category can be different, but uh, in this uh, aspect, I'll select marketing. Uh, the message will be in English, so uh, I'll select English. Now, with my text, in my text, I might say that, hi, uh, I'm sorry I missed you earlier. Uh, would you like to reinitiate the conversation? And I'd like to give the customer two buttons, like yes or no. So uh, template messages can have buttons and you can design those buttons to work differently. So you can either initiate a conversation with the customer within the chatbot. So you can add a sequence or you can redirect the customer to a URL or a website. So here what I'll do is I'll select sequence and I'll uh, later on, what I'll do is, yes, I'll select a sequence. No, I'll select another sequence. Uh, you can also add headers. So headers can be just blank or you can add a text header or an image header. So you can uh, select either. So I'll just select none here. And here I'll say that, hi, sorry, we missed you earlier. Do you like to start again? Now in this uh, body or the bulk of the message you can you have the option of adding different attributes so within your conversation with the customer you you do have the option to assign different attributes to the customer so you can uh, collect their first name last name you can collect their order details so all of these uh, like personalized details that you can collect from the customer you can uh, save them under different attributes and you can also bring those attributes within your text so here for example i could have used an attribute called like first name to actually direct the customer with their first name. So this is this is basically the uh, template that has been set. So now you save and request approval. What this will do is this template message will be submitted to WhatsApp end who will basically now uh, verify based on their guidelines. So they have different guidelines of their own. So if the template message that I just created, if this complies with their guidelines, this will be approved in a few hours. Once the template gets approved, how do you send this to your customers? So uh, to do that, what you need to do is go to the inbox. Here you need to select the WhatsApp ticket. And here in the chat window, you'll find a button for the templates. So you click on this button and this will pull up all the template messages that you've created and has been approved by WhatsApp. You need to select the template message that you'd like to send to the customer. And this will pull up uh, confirmation details and then you can send this template message to the customer. As you can see, this template message was sent. So as you'll see, you don't have the option to actually edit the message of your template from this inbox. Basically because this template message was 
finally approved by whatsapp so you cannot uh, edit this before you send this to the customer so if you need to make any changes to a particular template message you can uh, go to the integration and you can see all the details of your uh, template messages from here and if you want you can do the same thing and you can make the changes and submit for approval again so to summarize you need to go to the integrations and you need to make sure you have all the details of your template message you said these are from the integrations providing all the details and you submit for approval from whatsapp and this will be approved in a couple of hours and once that is done you need to go to the inbox and you need to uh, send the message from the inbox right from there so thanks for watching in the next video i'd like to show you how you can actually broadcast a particular template message to a number of your contacts so until then stay tuned